Hello and welcome to Chandu.org. Sometimes we have mixed data type in a column. For example, you could have numbers and text. Although the text itself is a number, it could be formatted as a text and then they all got mixed up into a set of data that you either copy pasted or imported into Excel. How do you deal with this? In this video, we're going to look at four simple techniques to or solve that problem. So here is my mixed data. I'm going to just show you why this is a mixed data. If it is aligned in the center or right, you might be confused and think that they are numbers. But the moment I take off the alignment, you could see that Excel automatically puts numbers to the right and text values to the left. So these are actually text values. It's four within double quotes and 8.001 within double quotes. So that's a text value. So how do you deal with this problem? How do you convert it? There are different techniques. My first and most uh, preferred method is paste special. This is so ridiculously simple that uh, you, whenever you have data like this, all you have to do is select any blank cell, copy it, control C, select your original range, and then you have to activate paste special. It can be done in any number of ways. You could right click, go to uh, paste special, and then uh, click on that button to activate this screen. You could also press Alt E, let go of the E and Alt keys, and then press S. That would launch paste special. So this is how I normally do it. I do just Alt ES because it's kind of a habit. I developed over the years once you have that we have a blank cell and what we want is a blank cell is essentially zero and if I add zero as an operation while pasting then Excel will try to add zero to every cell and wherever that is a number it works wherever that is a text it will Excel will convert that text to number and then your data is now numbers one problem is you do lose your formatting so you may have to re do the formatting bits but at least your data is clean so that's the paste special method the next method is to use text to columns you have your data like this this will only work if you do not have text values as formulas like here it's within double quotes four so that's technically a formula whereas here it is a text value of four that is sitting in that cell when you have data like this you just select all of this data go to data text to columns and then uh, you don't need to specify anything for a single column but if you have multiple columns then uh, you may have to specify delimiters etc and then just uh, finish everything and excel will automatically take everything that looks like a number and then force it into a number so that's that now both this technique is also useful when you are converting dates uh, text to column method uh, and paste special is useful when you are adding it uh, with, with zero. The third method is to use formulas and you can apply different types of formulas. So this is your rate data. The first formula that you have is value formula. What value does is it takes a number and then if it can be converted into a number, it will convert. If it cannot be converted, then it will give an error. So you get all of these, but let's say this 10 is not 10, but it is 10 then you get hash value error here uh, but otherwise it will work uh, simply fine second method is to simply add zero this is also better uh, easier than doing the value formula because it's short to type all you have to do is take the cell plus zero it'll work you could also do uh, any other operation that is uh, arithmetically neutral for example you could multiply with one uh, the result will be same. The third method is to use a number value function. What number value does is it is similar to value, but it also has these optional parameters for decimal separator and group separator. If you're wondering when you would use a number value as against value, let's say you are uh, looking at uh, some transaction data or currency information from two different geographies one is US and one is European geography 
uh, now in in us data you normally have comma as thousand separator and a dot as a decimal separator but in european values you would have uh, the tradition is that uh, dot is the thousand separator and comma is the decimal separator so in the us currency values you would have this kind of a value hundred thousand zero zero and then in european values you would have hundred dot zero 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 comma zero zero now what excel will do is it would take the first one automatically turn it into a number depending on your local settings though let's say you are living in us then this is what happens but that number excel thinks ah oh, this doesn't look like a number to me bro i'm just gonna keep it as as text so this will be treated as text so this is a mix of data type situation and we could use a number value uh, to turn this but how do we deal with this so this is where you will try value this uh, but if value cannot uh, so that will work there but it will give an error here because its value is not going to work there so this is when you can say if error my value is not working then try the number value number value of the text uh, the this value and then decimal separator is uh, comma uh, and then group separator is dot so that will work for the first situation and then second situation as well and will convert both of these into numbers so that's the formula method of using different formulas uh, the one is value and then adding zero or multiplying it with one and then using number value the fourth method is you could also use power query uh, let's do that power query method now we will first have to take this and turn it into a table to be able to load it into power query either a table or a neighbor range will do i'll turn this into a table and then uh, we will go to data from table range and then this would launch power query window right uh, we have the query editor here with our data now power query uh, has already converted right it is saying oh you got a mix type uh, but i can do everything to a number so it would so this is how it looks and then when you try to uh, change type whole number or decimal number power query will try to do this and it should work in most cases if in case power query is giving an error because it cannot convert that then what you would do is you would need to force power query to uh, convert that that value using error handling methods in power query so i'll just quickly show you how that would look like uh, i'm gonna make a new query here uh, which will uh, which will be just a list of values in semi curly brackets so one two three and then four five and then something and then six so we get like a mixed data type here and then when we do this uh, we will we will have like that and then if you change this to a whole number power query is able to do it, all of this but that one is lost it is saying error so when you convert like this uh, the the values that power query cannot convert they will be shown as errors and uh, uh, and you kind of potentially lose that as well right so this is uh, uh, that that's how power query deals with this problem one other option that you could do rather than changing type is you could try to change the type and if there is not working you could keep the original value so that way you will remain keep the values and then wherever there is not a number you will still retain the other value so to do that what you could do is you could uh, either add a column so there is just a duplicate of column one uh, i'll call this as after conversion and then we can simply say try uh number dot from i think i meant to use capital number dot from column one so we are asking for click give it a try you know see if column one can be converted into a number and if it's that's fine otherwise uh just uh, give me column one so what this does is it is doing the conversion it is taking four and five and putting that as numbers but something will will remain as it is so it will still be a mix of data type because 
now everything is is not a number so power query will say abc123 but uh, whatever can be a number that has been kind of rescued by power query so you could use uh, these techniques and then once you're happy you could push back the data into excel and that will that will do that for um, data conversion so just to recap when you have mixed data types the easiest way is to use paste special copy and, and paste special with addition or try text to columns uh, but these methods are manual that means if your data is changing then you would have to redo this but if you have a connection through which you are bringing the data and things could change on the fly whenever you refresh uh, then a preferred option is to either use formulas in your data or use power query to polish your data i hope you found this video useful and uh, please share your feedback in the comment section thanks bye